Hello, Star Wars fans. Welcome to my channel, where I talk about everything related to the galaxy far, far away. In today's video, I'm going to review the latest featurette released by Disney Plus called Rebel Crew, which gives us some new details about the upcoming series, Ahsoka. If you're excited to see Rosario Dawson as the former Jedi Knight Ahsoka Tano, then you don't want to miss this video. But before continue, I request you to subscribe our channel and press on the bell icon button for new videos notifications on time. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my future videos. So, what is Rebel Crew, and what does it tell us about Ahsoka? Well, according to Disney+, Plus, Rebel Crew is a behind-the-scenes look at the making of the series, featuring interviews with the cast and crew, as well as some sneak peeks at the story and the action. The feature was released on August 23rd, along with the first two episodes of the series, which are now available to stream exclusively on Disney Plus One. The feature reveals that Ahsoka is set after the fall of the Empire and follows Ahsoka Tano as she investigates an emerging threat to a vulnerable galaxy. Along the way, she meets new allies and faces old enemies. The series is a spin off of The Mandalorian, where Ahsoka made her live action debut in Season 2-2. The featurette also introduces us to some of the characters and actors who will join Ahsoka on her journey. Besides Rosario Dawson as Ahsoka Tano, we have Natasha Leo Bordizzo as Sabine Wren, a Mandalorian warrior and former rebel who helps Ahsoka find Ezra Bridger, a Jedi who disappeared at the end of Star Wars Rebels 3. We also have Mary Elizabeth Winstead as Bo Caden Cries, another Mandalorian leader who claims the Dark Saber from Moff Gideon in The Mandalorian 4. And we have Ray Stevenson as Grand Admiral Thrawn, a blue-skinned Imperial officer who is Ahsoka's main adversary and Ezra's Captor 5. Other actors who appear in the featurette are Ivana Sakno as Verla, a Force-sensitive woman who assists Ahsoka, Diana Lee Inosanto as Magistrate Morgan Elspeth, a tyrannical ruler who has a history with Ahsoka, David Tennant as Hondo Onaka, a pirate and smuggler who often crosses paths with Ahsoka, Lars Mikkelsen as Emperor Palpatine, the Scythe Lord who survived his apparent death in Return of the Jedi, and a man as Sandy as Rook, Thrawn's loyal assassin six. The featurette also showcases some of the directors who helmed the episodes of the series. They are Dave Filami, Steph Green, Peter Ramsey, Jennifer Getzinger, Dita Vazant Patel, and Rick Famiwa. Dave Filoni is the head writer and executive producer of the series, as well as the creator of Ahsoka Tano. He also directed two episodes of The Mandalorian 7. The other directors are known for their work on various films and TV shows such as Watchmen, Spider-Man, Into the Spider-Verse, Mad Men, The Witcher, and Dope 8. So, what do I think of Ahsoka and what do I expect from it? Well, I'm a huge fan of Ahsoka Tano and I think Rosario Dawson did an amazing job portraying her in The Mandalorian. I'm looking forward to seeing more of her character development and backstory in this series. I'm also excited to see how she interacts with other characters from the Star Wars universe, especially Sabine Wren and Bo Caden Cries. I think they will have a lot of chemistry and camaraderie. I'm also curious to see how Ahsoka will deal with Thrawn and Palpatine, who are two of the most powerful and dangerous villains in the galaxy. I hope the series will have a lot of action, drama, humor, and surprises. That's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And don't forget to comment below and let me know what you think of Ahsoka and the featurette Rebel Crew. Have you watched the first two episodes? What did you like or dislike? What are your predictions for the rest of the series? I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions. And if you haven't watched the series yet, what are you waiting for? Go check it out on Disney Plus right now. Trust me, you won't regret it. Thanks for watching and may the force be with you.